and we are live. Um, good evening. This is the Wednesday, uh, November 18th. And my name is Rob Todd from uh, Grace Anglican here. And this is the uh, Anglican uh, Diocese of San Joaquin daily evening prayer. Um, let us begin. Let my prayer be set forth in your sight as incense and let the lifting up of my hands be an evening sacrifice. Let us humbly confess our sins to Almighty God. Almighty and most merciful Father, we have erred and strayed from your ways like lost sheep. We have followed too much the devices and desires of our own hearts. We have offended against your holy laws. We have left undone those things which we ought to have done, and we have done those things which we ought not to have done. And apart from your grace, there is no health in us. O Lord, have mercy upon us. Spare all those who confess their faults. Restore all those who are penitent according to your promises. Declare to all people in Christ Jesus our Lord. And grant, O most merciful Father, for his sake, that we may now live a godly, righteous, and sober life. To the glory of your holy name. Amen. Grant to your faithful people, merciful Lord, pardon and peace, that we may be cleansed from all our sins and serve you with a quiet mind through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Please join me in the invitatory. O Lord, open our lips. And our mouths shall proclaim your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. The false Hilaron. O gladsome light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed, now as we come to the setting of the sun and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing your praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices, O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified through all the worlds. Our psalm appointed for this evening is Psalm 47. Let us say it responsively, switching at the asterisk. Hear this, all you peoples. Ponder it with your ears, all who dwell in the world. High and low, rich and poor. Everyone with his neighbor. My mouth shall speak of wisdom. And my heart shall muse on understanding. I will incline my ear to a parable. And declare my dark sayings with the heart. Why should I fear in the days of wickedness? And when the wicked at my heels encompass me around about. There are some who put their trust in their goods. And boast in the multitude of their riches. But no one can deliver his brother nor pay unto God a price for him. For it is so costly to redeem their souls that we should never have enough to pay it so that they should live forever and should not see the grave. For we see that wise men die as well as the ignorant and foolish. They perish alike and leave their riches for others. And yet they think that their houses shall continue forever and that their dwelling places shall endure from one generation to another. And they call lands after their own names. Man is like an ox that has no understanding. He is like the beasts that perish. This is the way of their foolishness. Yet their posterity praise their sayings. Like sheep, they are appointed to die and death shall be their shepherd. They shall go down straight into the sepulcher. Their beauty shall consume away in the grave. Which shall be their dwelling place forever. But God shall save me from the power of death. For he shall deliver my soul. Be not envious if one is made rich. Or if the glory of his house is increased. For he shall carry nothing away with him when he dies. Neither shall his glory follow him. For while he lived, he counted himself happy. And so long as he did well for himself, people spoke well of him. He shall follow the generation of his fathers. And shall never see the light. Those who are honored but have no understanding. 
are like the beasts that perish. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our first lesson is a reading from the prophet Isaiah, beginning with the 31st chapter, the first verse. Woe to those who go down to Egypt for help and rely on horses, who trust in chariots because they are many, and in horsemen because they are very strong. But do not look to the Holy One of Israel, or consult the Lord. And yet he is wise and brings disaster. He does not call back his words, but will arise against the house of the evildoers, and against the helpers of those who work iniquity. The Egyptians are man and not God, and their horses are flesh and not spirit. When the Lord stretches out his hand, the helper will stumble, and he who is helped will fall, and they will all perish together. For thus the Lord said to me, As a lion or a young lion growls over his prey, and when a band of shepherds is called out against him, he is not terrified by their shouting or daunted at their noise, so the Lord of hosts will come down to fight on Mount Zion and on its hill. Like birds hovering, so the Lord of hosts will protect Jerusalem. He will protect and deliver it. He will spare and rescue it. Turn to him from whom people have deeply revolted, O children of Israel. For in that day everyone shall cast away his idols of silver and his idols of gold, which your hands have sinfully made for you. And the Assyrian shall fall by a sword, not of man. And a sword, not of man, shall devour him. And he shall flee from the sword, and his young men shall be put to forced labor. His rock shall pass away in terror, and his officers desert the standard in panic, declares the Lord, whose fire is in Zion, and whose furnace is in Jerusalem. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Now please join me in the Magnificat. My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For he has regarded the lowliness of his handmaiden. For behold, from now on, all generations will call me blessed. For he that is mighty has magnified me, and holy is his name. And his mercy is on those who fear him throughout all generations. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in the imagination of their hearts. He has brought down the mighty from their thrones and has exalted the humble and meek. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent empty away. He, remembering his mercy, has helped his servant Israel as he promised to our fathers Abraham and his seed forever. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be world without end. Amen. Our second reading is a reading from the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to St. Luke, beginning with the third chapter, the 23rd verse. Jesus, when he began his ministry, was about 30 years of age, being the son, as was supposed, of Joseph, the son of Heli, the son of Mathat, the son of Levi, the son of Melchi, the son of Jani, the son of Joseph, the son of Mattathias, the son of Amos, the son of Nahum, the son of Esli, the son of Nagai, the son of Maath, the son of Mattathias, the son of Simeon, the son of Josek, the son of Jodah, the son of Joanan, the son of Resa, the son of Zerubbabel, the son of Shealtiel, the son of Neri, the son of Melchi, the son of Adai, the son of Kosum the son of Elmadam, the son of Ur, the son of Joshua, the son of Eliezer, the son of Jorim, the son of Mathat, the son of Levi, the son of Simeon, the son of Judah, the son of Joseph, the son of Jonam, the son of Eliakim, the son of Melia, the son of Mena, the son of Mattatha, the son of Nathan, the son of David, the son of Jesse, the son of Obed, the son of Boaz, the son of Salah, the son of Nashon, the son of Amminadab, the son of Admin, the son of Arnai, the son of Hezron, the son of Perez, the son of Judah, the son of Jacob, the son of Isaac, the son of Abraham, 
the son of Tira, the son of Nahor, the son of Serug, the son of Reu, the son of Peleg, the son of Eber, the son of Shelah, the son of Canaan, the son of Arphaxad, the son of Shem, the son of Noah, the son of Lamech, the son of Methuselah, the son of Enoch, the son of Jared, the son of Mahalaleel, the son of Canaan, the son of Enos, the son of Seth, the son of Adam, the son of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please join me in the Nunc Dimittis. Lord, now let your servant depart in peace according to your word. For my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared before the face of all people, to be a light to lighten the Gentiles, and to be the glory of your people Israel. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our Apostles' Creed, please join me. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Amen. The prayers. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The suffrages, that this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful. We entreat you, O Lord. That your holy angels may lead us in paths of peace and goodwill. We entreat you, O Lord. That we may be pardoned and forgiven for our sins and offenses. We entreat you, O Lord. That there may be peace in your church and in the whole world. We entreat you, O Lord that we may depart this life in your faith and fear and not be condemned before the great judgment seat of Christ. We entreat you, O Lord, that we may be bound together by your Holy Spirit in the communion of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Elizabeth of Hungary, and all your saints, entrusting one another and all our life to Christ. We entreat you, O Lord. Our collect for today, the Wednesday after the 24th Sunday after Pentecost, Stir up, O Lord, the wills of your faithful people, that bringing forth in abundance the fruit of good works, they may be abundantly rewarded when our Savior Jesus Christ comes to restore all things, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Our college for Elizabeth of Hungary, renewer of society. Almighty and everlasting God, you kindled the flame of your love in the heart of your servant, Elizabeth of Hungary, to manifest your compassion and mercy to the poor and the persecuted. Grant to us, your humble, humble servants, a like faith and power of love, that we who give thanks for her righteous zeal may profit by her example, through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Or mission. O oh God, you manifest in your servant the signs of your presence. Send forth upon us the spirit of love, that in companionship with one another, your abounding grace may increase among us through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And finally, for those who serve others. Oh, 
O Lord, our Heavenly Father, whose blessed Son came not to be served, but to serve. We ask you to bless all who, following in his steps, give themselves to the service of others, especially those who are laboring in this time of plague. And do them with wisdom, patience, and courage, that they may strengthen the weak and raise up those who fall. And being inspired by your love, may worthily minister to the suffering, the friendless, and the needy. For the sake of him who laid down his life for us, your son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. At this time, I would invite you to unmute and offer your own uh, prayers and uh, thanksgivings. Heavenly Father, I give you thanks for the opportunities that you give us to gather in your name, whether it be here on Zoom, in person, out in the, in the world, uh, Lord. At this time, I ask your blessings to ta- uh, down upon the Hatch family and the Bacchus family as uh, they come, come up upon a Thanksgiving without their beloved patriarchs, Lord. Um, just send your blessings upon them. Hold them close to your breast, Lord. Let them know that that uh, their loved ones are exactly where they need to be, and uh, just relieve their pain and suffering. I ask this in Jesus Christ's name, Amen. Amen. At this time, I have chosen a nice little hymn. Uh, we've heard it before, but I think it's uh, it really kind of goes along with my background, uh, um, just about how wonderful it is uh, for to for to have uh, the Lord Jesus in our life. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. 
And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts, we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives by giving up ourselves to your service, by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Our prayer of St. John Chrysostom. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will grant their requests. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth, and in the, in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Amen. Thank you all for joining us this evening. We hope you have a wonderful rest of your evening, and we look forward